Hello everyone, on this video I will review my new laptop MSI GS66 Stealth with Intel i9 processor and NVIDIA RTX 3080. I'm creating a lot of the video content and doing video rendering, so looks like this laptop will fit my needs. Uh, my previous laptop was Asus CGL52 VSK with 7th generation i7 processor, worked for me uh, for the last 5 years perfectly. I will compare them in the benchmark uh, at the end of this video to see the improvement of the performance. So let's get started. This is Canadian version of GS66 Stealth Edition. This is gaming laptop, but I'm not sure who can really afford gaming laptop with this price. It's really expensive. Uh, I think it's okay to professional like people who are really working with this, but to play games with such a price, uh, I think better just to buy maybe PlayStation 5 or 6, <laughs> I don't know, or some latest Xbox, it will cost you much, much cheaper. Specification of this laptop as, as follow. This is the Intel i9-11900H CPU. The graphic card is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 with 16 GB of RAM. The RAM itself is 64 GB DDR4 3200 MHz and the screen is 15 inch, it's 4K display with 60 Hz and there is a Windows 10 professional version on it. This laptop has two SSD slots for hard drives, it's M2 type, one of them generation 3 and another one generation 4. So uh, the laptop coming with one uh, terabyte hard drive already, generation 4. I will put additional drive, so I will show you how to do it as well. One box more important, another less important. In less important, there is a power cable and a power adapter. Power adapter is 230 watt. Most important, it's a laptop itself. And this is still not laptop, it's just nice uh, black box. I have small helper who will help me to unwrap this laptop. This is some paper like manual guide, like how to turn this laptop on and just some basic stuff like no one ever read it. Case of laptop made of metal, the cover and the bottom made of, uh, made of uh, metal. The Dragon logo is not lighting, uh, you can see fingerprints everywhere where you, where you touch, <laughs> unfortunately, but it's, it's fine. Uh, the quality is really great, it's like high-end uh, laptop of MSI. Uh, again, it's uh, i9, the latest generation, and RTX uh, 3080. Uh, usually they, have, they also stick a sticker on the screen saying how many hertz is it. There's a webcam, really bad quality, webcam always bad quality. Regarding the ports, there's a power port and uh, this power port also support ASUS uh, adapters, by the way. Uh, also, an, another, it's a Thunderbolt 4 USB-C. Uh, and you can charge uh, the laptop uh, using this port. Uh, another it's HDMI uh, and a regular uh, type uh, A USB version 3.2. On another side of the laptop there's a, a microphone and headset jack, a USB-C which you cannot charge a laptop but you can connect the monitors uh, using this port. 
uh, two USB uh, regular versions uh, and uh, LAN. Uh, LAN is uh, the network adapter here is a, a killer uh, model and also the Wi-Fi is a uh, killer. When you log into your Microsoft account, it's automatically downloading your wallpaper from other account. Nice. Okay, so I will open a task manager to check uh, which hardware Windows uh, detected. So CPU, it's i9, nice. Uh, GPU, video card is RTX GeForce 3080, 16 uh, gigs of RAM. Exactly what we needed. Uh, regarding the uh, resolution of the monitor, it's 4K monitor, and if we we'll go to advanced display setting, we we'll see it's a uh, 60 Hz. Okay. Uh, regarding the disk, there is a one disk, a Micron 3400. I will check on the website uh, what the speed of this uh, uh, hard disk, and do I need to switch it uh, to another one? So oh, okay. I find on the website this is a generation 4 and a maximum speed is 6600 megabyte per second. I have another disk, a 7000 megabyte, so I will put this as a system after I will clone it. And yeah, and this one I will just will put it as a secondary disk. So let's open the laptop and see what's inside. remove all the screws and there is one screw which, which is covered by factory seal if you will break it you kind of uh, losing your warranty but how you can upgrade your laptop for example to put the second drive without opening this I check many forums and people saying just kind of a messiah allowing it's okay if you want to upgrade it so it's okay to break it I don't know I really didn't check with a messiah itself but I will open doesn't matter <music> Not easy to remove the back cover, you kind of need to dig it out. Okay, what do we have here? Three fans. This is a GPU. This is a processor. This is a RAM, 32 gigabytes of RAM, each one of them. This is a hard drive. Uh, this is the hard drive generation 4. Install it in this socket. Uh, this is a Micron generation 4. Yeah, one terabyte. There is another socket uh, generation 3. We can remove this. I will take my uh, secondary drive and will uh, put it on the second place. After that, I will clone it and replace them just to, to the back. So the Western Digital will be my uh, first disk. The Micron will be secondary. Just put it in the socket and screw it with a, a screwdriver and make it firm. And that's all. We can turn it on. 
Okay, we booted our computer. There's no disk D, like not secondary drive. Why? Because we need to initialize this disk. So let's go to the disk management. Okay, see, just detecting the second drive is installed. Just click OK. After it, we just need to new, create a new volume. Let's create for the full full size. It will make them a quick format of it. And yeah, right now we have disk D. So let's execute some tests. What I have right now, the second drive is a Western Digital Generation 4, can read up to 7000 megabytes per second, but it installed in the socket of Generation 3. So the speed limit will be of the port itself, of the socket. It will not give us uh, 7000 megabytes per second, it will give us much less. So this is a result. It's just limited speed of the port. So not always uh, it's worth it to place a Generation 4 into the socket of the Generation 3. I installed a few benchmarks here, so we'll execute all of them, we'll show you results, and at the end of the video I will show you also, I will compare with my old Asus laptop. So let's get started with a CPU ID. Here is our processor, motherboard, memory, each one of the slots for the memory, and a video card, there's two video cards, one integrated, one a discrete RTX uh, with 16 gigs and a benchmark like to execute this is the result of the benchmark if you want to compare with your just select uh, make sure the CPU Z is the same version so you can see that it will be same results uh, same test basically exactly let's execute a disk test I already replaced it all the disk, cloned it, so everything right now okay. Uh, my first drive, the uh, operation system drive, system drive, basically is what Western Digital, uh, which should read up to 7000 uh, megabytes per second. And the second one is the Micron, uh, which was in this laptop. Uh, the Micron is also generation 4, but I placed it into generation 3. So here, here are the results. You see the Western Digital given basically up to 7000 megabytes per second, which is really great. Let's test the second drive, the Micron, which will give us 6600, but it's right now uh, located in the generation 3. <laughs> so it will give us less. Basically, it will give us uh, the speed again of the socket itself. And as, as you see, it's yeah, it's 3000, uh, almost 500 here. Yeah only let's execute sign bench i will stop recording and we'll execute the test so uh, the whole pro the whole resources will be dedicated to the test and we'll see the final result by the way in the screen you can pull down 180 degrees as you see really great and here results which you see multi-core and a single core point and let's execute last test, is 3D Mark uh, test, graphic test and CPU test. I downloaded the demo version, it has uh, two or three tests free. I will execute two of them and we'll see results. So right now it's running, as you see, uh, the screen is 4K and it's running uh, the testing kit on the full HD only. This is the second test, or oh, this one, I don't remember, it has two tests I just run. And now you will see final results compared with my old ASUS GL52 VSK. So this is my new configuration in my old configuration. And let's compare them. First is a, a CPU ID. This is a benchmark of the a ASUS. And this is a benchmark of the MSI. Increase of 63% for the single processor and 132% for the multi-core. Signbench, ASUS, MSI, plus 158% well really great uh, results uh, discs well discs it's yeah you know cannot compare because it's a sata and sata is just limited only yeah really it's only 550 kind of yeah average so it doesn't matter what you have yeah nasus i had uh, one m2 and one uh, just 2.5 inch the regular one and msi it's pci express generation 4 and generation 3 plus 1145 percent read space uh, speed it's crazy just yeah it's it's total it cannot compare it and this is the results of 3d mark this is the asus i i, I use time spine version 1.2 every version and this is the msi results 
So you see plus 71% of uh, total score and graphic and CPU score. Well, pretty good, good improvement. This is uh, uh, the second test at night uh, raid. This is the uh, results for the, my old Asus and this is the results for my uh, new MSI. And yeah, as you see results uh, plus 73% uh, total time, total score. If you look for the video card for the mining, so this is the result if you want to compare the mining. This is a RTX, uh, sorry, GTX on my Asus uh, 1070. This is a hash rate and this is a hash rate of the uh, RTX 3080, 45 uh, mega hash per second, I think. And uh, on the Asus, it's only 24, 23. You see it's device 3080. And here's device uh, 1070. And the most important test for me is basically rendering. I will render the same project. It's 4K 60 frames per second, really small project uh, for kind of 30 seconds, really small. And we'll see how long it will take for my old uh, Asus and for my new MSI to render exact same project. So you see here, selecting 4K uh, 60 frames per second, exact same settings, same project. We'll see how long it take. Let's start rendering. And exact same project on my MSI, 4K, 60 frames per second. Uh, let's render it. Let's see the utilization of the computer on both of them. Uh, as you see, this here is the GPU utilization really high, like 30, 50%. Uh, on my old one, it was always like 5%, sometimes 10%. As you see, really low utilization of GPU. I don't know, it's just everything going to CPU and the memory. Here it's memory, CPU and GPU. So for sure it will make it faster. How faster? Yeah, we'll see it right now. It's just, yeah, it made all the seconds. It's just really, it's really, it's really fast. By the way, it's a video of my, you know, off-roading. You can see it, my private channel. Uh, yeah, nice uh, was yeah we was our friends. We went to the British Columbia here in the mountains. Was really great, nice views, bears, uh, uh, lakes, and really great mountains. Okay, looks like it's going to finish almost. Just few seconds more. And this one is still on 59%, 60%. So yeah, it will take a little bit more time. And as you see, again, GPU utilization very, very, very low. Okay, it's done. Okay, so it's did it in one minute and 20 seconds on the new laptop. And on the old one, it's still running, but it should finish really soon. Uh, it's yeah. It, it, when you render it a huge video, like you know, forty minutes in four K, it yeah it can make a difference. So this is the result. You see, two minutes and seventeen seconds, and the MSI did it in one minute and twenty seconds. So almost one minute uh, difference. It's a lot. It's just really, it's small clip, and yeah, <laughs> when you're editing huge file, it's just crazy, crazy amount of time. Well, great! I really, I, 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 I really glad I bought this laptop, and just hope it will uh, serve me like for the years. And by the way, disco uh, keyboard, as, it, as I didn't tell you, uh, you can change the color of any K for any color of any K. Oh, just use some mo mods. Uh, yeah, price. I bought this uh, computer from this shop RBC lab, uh, sh web store. It's located in uh, Canada, in Ot Ottawa. Uh, yeah, the price is you see four thousand two hundred forty-five Canadian dollar. Uh, yeah, I compared this laptop with another laptop, with a, also from MSI, called the WS66 Workstation. Basically, it's the same laptop, I can say, just really different on the color. And also, the, it, it's cost much more, 600 more than $600 more, Canadian. And it also has a NVIDIA RTX A500, it's kind of the new, new version of Quadro uh, graphic cards, but basically it's the same chip with, uh, as 3080. So, yeah, that's all from me. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.